Welcome to this Baycove Human Services training video. In this video, we'll take a look at how the Baycove housing clients access their personalized resident portal as a part of the Resmin property management application. This video can be shared with clients as well as the guardians or caretakers as an aid for them as well. Residents will use this portal to make housing payments, access and track their payment history, and they can access other communication uh, features uh, as well, such as package coordination and updates and notices with management. Today, we'll focus on the payment functionality here. The process begins when the Baycove administrator, who is completing the process of establishing the client as a resident in one of Baycove's properties, it's a process referred to internally as moving them in. Once this process is complete, the administrator will then access the specific property's web access portal from the administration module and email that URL to the client. That information can be found here. The uh, administrator will go to admin, properties, which will bring them to this uh, page. They're gonna wanna look for the particular property in this particular example, we'll take a look at a property called Meraki House. This will be the, uh, uh, the configuration uh, in the settings page. And you can see there are lots of different information here related to the property internally focused. This is for Bay Cove employees uh, that they'll be uh, using in terms of the configuration and settings. Um, what the Bay Cove administrator will do is come down and select from this first uh, property header section here, the resident portal URL, and they can simply copy and paste that. And then they'll hop into a new uh, browser window, open their email and send it to the email of the client. Um, and the client, it is important uh, that it is sent to the email that the client used as a part of the application process as well, so that there's only one uh, email address associated with a particular client. When the client receives that uh, email, um, they will receive that link and it will look like this. Uh, when they select the link uh, that I just highlighted on the previous screen, they'll copy and paste it and they will be brought to a page that looks like this. And, uh, and you can see at this point, they've got a choice to sign in or register. And the first time they access this uh, process, they'll need to register. A very common process, uh, a lot, you know, among many other kinds of uh, applications. Um, and here, this is a visual of what the registration screen would look like, and they can use either their email or social security number. Again, has to be the same uh, uh, information that we have on record with them, uh, especially the email. Um, but they'll fill that out, they'll confirm their information and the specific unit that they have moved been assigned and moved into, and then they'll select register. After they do that, they uh, will receive a second email. This one is an automated email from the Resmin application. And uh, you can see in this particular visual, the, uh, you know, the test, uh, Resident has been named Google Mouse, and you can see here the text of the information is simple canned text, and uh, it's a basic two-step verification process that they'll move through uh, where they uh, click uh, or copy and paste the URL and complete the process. After completing their registration on the portal, um, they, this is the email that they will receive. At this point, the client can access and log into the resident portal. This is what the resident portal will look like when you have logged into it. For a, a live image of what it would look like, we can go ahead and uh, just show what that looks like here. Uh, if I come down here and I access a particular resident and uh, I will select a test and down here on the resident information record screen, I can directly access 
the portal this way as well. When you're logged in, this is what the resident will see. You can see that the portal displays along the left-hand action menu, menu modules that allow the resident to access information about payments, communication preferences, package deliveries to the property, relevant documents related to the client or resident, as well as permission uh, to enter information. Today, we'll just focus on the payment function here. And you can see this is the payment screen. And you can see there's a payment history field. Uh, there's no active information in here currently. Um, but were you, you know, were there to be you know, past due amounts or monthly charges or fees, late fees, they would all be represented here. In order to uh, make a payment, the resident would select the Pay Now button. Okay, and they've got choices across the top, uh, across the top row of tabs. They can make a one-time payment. Okay, they can access their payment history payment accounts, their profile, and then the Zego support center uh, as well if they have uh, tech support issues as, as well. If they go to a one-time payment uh, screen, back to the one-time payment screen right here, um, if they wanted to, for instance, make a $100 payment, they could enter the amount that they're gonna pay. And you can see this is the screen at which they have a choice where they can select either PayPal, a bank uh, account number or a credit card. The bank account uh, automated clearinghouse system is free. Uh, there are fees for the other two methods. If they were to select a credit card, this would bring them to the, um, the page where they would enter the credit card number uh, and then hit continue. I won't enter all that specific information now with a test uh, example, but this is what it would look like. Uh, they would then continue through, confirm, and they would receive a receipt that they could uh, page that they could print out for their records or save uh, to their documents uh, at area in their portal. So uh, in conclusion, this is a quick overview of how the access to the resident portal is cre you know, created and delivered to the resident and cl or client, and then the client can then access and set it up for themselves. And, um, and I hope you found this helpful.